And here, in fact, is Lindsey Graham still pulling at that thread. Here it is. This is the question that's hanging out there. Michael Flynn did this. You can argue that it was not uh, directed by Donald Trump or Mike Pence in the White House for him to call uh, this ambassador and talk about the sanctions. But the question still remains. The White House counsel has known about this for at least three weeks, in some instance, four weeks. Did they tell the president and the vice president? And if they did... Why are they firing him now? I don't know what we're talking about. What did General Flynn say to the Russian ambassador about lifting sanctions? Did he say anything at all, or is this just being spun by the media? So I think Congress needs to be informed of what actually uh, General Flynn said to the Russian ambassador about lifting sanctions. And I want to know, did General Flynn do this by himself, or was directed by somebody to do it? Well, and that is an important question. Do you believe at this point, Senator, that Flynn misled the White House, or do you think that he was authorized to talk sanctions with Russia before President Trump took office? I'd have a hard time believing that General Flynn would get on the phone with a Russian ambassador and suggest that, don't worry, we will, go, we, we will revisit this when we get to be president in terms of executive sanctions uh, without some understanding that the administration would be sympathetic to it to the idea. Now, I may be wrong. Maybe he did this in a rogue fashion. Maybe General Flynn went rogue, but uh, that's you know a question I need to more. I don't know. Uh, he's, he's a pretty uh, strong-willed fellow, but I think most Americans uh, have a right to know whether or not this was a General Flynn rogue m maneuver, or was he uh, basically speaking for somebody else in the White House? Well, and there you go. It's interesting the way he's calibrating that. Yeah, it's so interesting. He's just like, well, let me kind of crack this door, but I could certainly step back from that still. That, that's very illustrative. They throw in a few, like, hit the media a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's very illustrative. It, it's almost like the first step when you're not just saying it behind oh, yeah. closed doors anymore. Like he oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to just walk this. Uh, they're going to slow walk this stuff. I mean, part of this is, you know, this is going to be leverage for the Republicans in Congress over the Bush administration. I mean, over the Trump administration, I should say. So it's not necessarily that they want to get to the bottom of this. Um, on one hand, you know, as Marcy Wheeler said, if this stuff becomes, ends up entering into the realm of these investigations, uh, it may screw up any real investigation James Comey has. Alternatively, uh, this could be, you know, Republicans in the Senate and maybe ultimately in the House who feel like they can't control the White House. Maybe this is their leash. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri subscribe.